All right, round one. Let's play first. Hmm, two green. Some blue cards. Merge. Scarecrow. I'm not in love with this hand. If we rip any lands, we'll get to Scarecrow. If we rip blue lands, we'll get to Scab. If we rip... Three blue spells, two green mana. On the play. Eh, that's probably too dangerous. Alright, this hand's actually surprisingly fine. So we'll keep it. And we'll keep the land on top. I feel like we're going to need that. We're going to be needing that. There it is. Permeating Mass. What a rare. Guess I'll trade a Permeating Mass for a Toppelgeist. Opponent considered it. <laughs> they were like, do I want a 1-3 that can block and turn my opponent's things into little dudes? Jeez, we are just one drop dot deck, huh? Aha! Blue-white skies. All right. It's a bit awkward. I'm two lands from being able to emerge lurker or flip gargoyle. All right, opponent's got a sweet skies deck, and we've got nothing. Oh, forgot to attack there. That was a mistake. <clears throat> and my opponent forgot about the tattered hunter. Guess we're still in chill mode. I really don't want to turn a spirit into a permeating mass. Maybe I should. I don't know. Dauntless Cathar. Yeah, it appears my opponent's forgotten that. Or maybe it's because now my opponent thinks I can flip the the gargoyle. Loma Dryad. Well, alright. We really are one drop dot deck. So, I guess I can play Lurker, but it uh, doesn't do that much. I can play the Drownyard BMS 2, or I can flip the Gargoyle. 
Hmm. So I can put the Wretched Griff back on my opponent's deck. Unfortunately, it's not that good. Just lets him draw another card and sack a spirit. Must have been a reason my opponent... Maybe my opponent just forgot about the Cathar. Hmm. I think I gotta drop the Lurker here. So I probably sack the... I guess the Loam Dryad. And the only reason I'm sacking the Loam Dryad is because I can still attack with this Dryad and I can still attack with Permeating Mass. Like, I would trade a Permeating Mass for a Wretched Griff, or at least turn it into a Permeating Mass. I still would have to deal with all my opponent's Flyers, though. Huh. But I'm going to have to deal with a Wretched Griff, so I guess I'm kind of out of options. We'll sack the Loam Dryad. Ditch this guy. My opponent's going to have to recast it, which honestly is not going to be difficult for him, but I don't even want to give my opponent the option of blocking. Clipwing seems pretty bad. I'm still going to bring it in, but your opponent's got a bunch of tokens, it's really not that good. Hmm. So I gotta flip my gargoyle. All right, so let's go to game two. We've got some swaps to make here. So permeating mass is coming out. This is certainly not a matchup for that. Oops, this one, not the other one. I guess we'll bring in the clip wings. Um, I can do deny existence. My opponent's got a merge and stuff like that. Maybe even the convolute too. And then I cut. Maybe the Traverse can go, and maybe a Grit, although, yeah, it stops Chilling Grass, but I guess I could cut Nagging Thoughts. It's pretty whatever card anyway. It's there solely to help with Delirium. All right. Do I want Fragment back in for the off chance I flip it and get a 1-4 flyer? Honestly, I might. I probably have weaker cards than that somewhere in here. Like the Grit, probably. All right. Hmm. Well, I think we're going to keep this hand. It's not great, but we can counter my opponent's three drop and then fortune's favor on turn four, assuming we draw nothing. So this hand at least does something, albeit not that much. Hmm. Well, kind of hoping my opponent plays a spell here. I 
Well, that's good. Because we're busy for the next couple turns here. I'm pretty curious why my opponent did that. I'd rather have the 2-2 two -two flyers and save this for something important. So let's play the Scarecrow now. So I guess we smash and then leave up Fortune's Favor and Deterrence. Well, this might be a good time to bounce because then my opponent can't even replay Researcher. Thanks, GoBots. I like you too. Alright. Survivalists will do. I like having threats right now. So, unfortunately, cannot play Deep Fiend, but that's all right. Opponent's going off. My opponent just refuses to attack, too, which is pretty awesome for us. Um, so, I guess we smash. I don't know how my opponent's going to block here. I guess a Spirit and a Guardian for a Backwood Survivalist. Actually, I can. what's nice is I can cast Fortune's Favor, but we only have instants right now. But maybe I can make it so I can get Delirium. No blocks. That's strange. So no blocks, no attacks. I really should win this match. I gotta... <laughs> Why would my... Uh, yeah, that's just... I don't get it. So I can play the Deep Fiend, because I will die to a Borrowed Grace. The problem is, I really don't want to sack anything. 3, 6, 9, 12, 16, 20. It's exact C's lethal, Borrowed Grace. It's also a common. I can tap all of my opponent's mana during their upkeep with the Deep Fiend. Do I want to sack the Scarecrow or the, the Survivalist? The Scarecrow gives us two more card types, which moves us closer to Delirium. And it makes my spells cheaper, I suppose. And then Fortune's Favor should get us that last one. All right, let's let's go over the deep fiend. So we're gonna upkeep deep fiend. We'll sack the scarecrow, and we'll tap four mana, so my opponent still can't play. Aberrant Researcher. So you're attacking now. Okay. Let's see if my opponent's got the Chilling Grasp. Honestly, Cryptolith Fragment's not a bad draw, and we can do Fortune's Favor as well. So 
So don't attack with the spirit, but... Oh, I guess it was just in case I had... It. That makes sense, I guess. Well, it's fortune's favor. Because I want to get the extra damage in. So we're a land away from... Fortune's favor going off here. The thing is, we don't even need it. The extra damage would help, though. It would make Cryptolith Fragment lethal next turn. We definitely die to uh, Borrowed Grace next turn, though. So, Scab or a Wicker Witch or Pile 2. I'd almost prefer the, la uh, the Pile 2. Unless it's lands, in which case I do want it to go to the graveyard because Scab and Wicker Witch will not give us Delirium. Um, I think I'm actually going to take this and try and get Delirium. We lost a Quilled Wolf and a Wharf Infiltrator, so we did not get Delirium anyway. Alright, well, let's play the Fragment. Unfortunately, we're not going to flip Fragment in time. Oh, what am I talking about? We do. Because my opponent dealt the damage to me. For some reason, I, I constantly think this card... I constantly think that you have to... Activate the ability of Cryptolith Fragment in order for it to flip, but that's just not how this card works. I think it's probably because it's in a transform set where I'm just used to cards, you know, pay a mana, pay a cost, and then do something. But no, this is just this ability or, and rather, at the beginning of your upkeep, if it has it, flip it, and it just kills my opponent. So that's cool. All right. Well, I'm glad a card I sideboarded was the one that killed my opponent. Hopefully these counter spells pull some mad weight. My opponent has so many good token cards. At this point, I guess I just have to be willing to trade a clip wings for a, a token. And be unhappy about it. Do I want to splash a spell queller? I mean, it's very good in this match. I have a cryptolith fragment and that's it. It seems like a really awkward splash. All right, all right, let's try her out again here. God, Wharf Infiltrator is horrific in this matchup too. Ooh, well, even though I said that, maybe it'll actually pay off here, we'll see. I mean, Infiltrator's horrific outside of turn two. Turn two, it's actually good. All right, I guess we'll go Dryad first. Because then I can go Infiltrator, Gnarlwood Dryad, which is kind of cool. Ooh, Militia Captain. There's a strong card, especially in a deck that has... against a deck that has zero removal spells. All right, well, the good news is... My opponent currently can't block it. All right, that's good news for us. So let's, I guess, smash with Infiltrator before we play our land. And then we'll draw, discard the Field Creeper and get that online.
guess I should just smash with Gnarlwood Dryad too, although then my opponent could smash back. So maybe that's not that good. Although, well, I guess they wouldn't be able to since I'm going to use the Creeper. Yes. All right. Discard Field Creeper. This is actually kind of sweet. Well, now I don't want to pay the... Because I want to play back with Survivalist. The Dilemma. I guess the problem is Survivalist can't... Uh, well, it can attack into Dauntless Cathar. I'm just not thrilled about it. But maybe I need to be. Huh. Survivalist makes better use of mana. Creeper takes advantage of some value. I can also play Deep Fiend early if I play the Survivalist. So maybe that does just make more sense. All right. Discard a green mana, play a green mana, play a survivalist. And pass. Because I'm going to need this deep fiend, I think. At least my opponent's off blue mana. It's kind of nice. If they have a spectral reserves. We're in rough shape, though. All right. Poem's getting there. Honor Militia Captain is such a strong card. It's just so absurdly strong. Oh. oh I guess we'll block. Man, that was a bad idea by my opponent. That was a really bad idea by my opponent. Like, I'm very thankful they did that. Once again, I'm not going to attack with Gnarlwood Dryad. At this point, I can realistically get it Delirium. Ooh, all right. God, I might just want to cast Lurker here. What can I cast it off of, though? I guess I can't. Can I? Wait. No, I can. But I'd have to sack my... I'd have to sack my Wharf Infiltrator. That doesn't seem like a sexy option to me. Let's ditch the Creeper. Pay the, the mana here. Play a land. And pass. God. My opponent so easily could have won this. So Infiltrator's off the table now, so I guess we can Lurker it. And then just ditch the Dauntless Cathar. Alright. Yeah, I guess so. Swing with these two. I'll trade my Dryad for a Spirit. I don't think that's bad. My opponent's all Flyers anyway, so... Seems reasonable to me. Hmm. Let's play the Ingenious Scab. attack with Lurker. I think my opponent will double block. Alright, so now I can actually bounce the Spirit, and then my opponent has to discard, and we kill their Cathar. So they lose a Mangler, they lose a Cathar. Next turn we can cast Deep Fiend. Hmm. 
Uh, maybe we can't now. That's all right. So we'll attack with Lurker. I mean, I could, but I'm not going to now. So now we just play Scab and play the Fragment. Oh. No, that doesn't matter, because prowess doesn't matter when you have summoning sickness and you're tapped. Okay, researcher. So I can cast Deep Fiend off of Loam Dryad now, right? But yeah, I can, because of the Cryptolith Fragment. So let's smash with these two little bad boys. Then we pass, upkeep. So upkeep, I think we can let the aberrant researcher trigger first. I wanna see if it flips, it doesn't change my, all right, so it didn't flip. So now we'll emerge. Sack the Loam Dryad. All right. Well, opponent threw that match away, but hey, we'll take hey, we'll take it, as my friend's dad says when he scores in foosball. So yes, we will definitely take it. But yes, our opponent punted really hard there. I have no idea why they attacked with the Hanweir Militia Captain. They very easily could have just attacked with Dauntless Cathar in that same turn. Because even if Cathar traded, which it probably would have, you could have just paid two mana and gotten a spirit and eventually flipped your captain. So I don't know what opponent was thinking. Uh, but they definitely gave us the game by doing that. So, all right. We'll see in round two.